Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some GTNH, and we're going to get into some fuel production today. So, I created this new room over here. I thought this would be my, basically, fuel room, uh, you know, where I create, uh, take oil, create it into some sort of fuel, hopefully, and things like that. Um, so, I got started over here as well. Um, this, I have a line that goes all the way. I forgot about that silly thing. I have a line that goes all the way from my base here all the way out to the uh, that deserty area where our bees are. And there was a lot of oil there and I thought, eh, this kind of like separates our base instead of having it above ground all the way there. It just kind of comes out. So I guess if we go over here, I don't know if you could see it because I think you only see one block. Oh yeah, you can see it. There it is. That's the one block sticking out right now. So this goes all the way from there, all the way down to here. And does this have a block sticking out too for fun? Yeah, it does. There you go. So there you have it. So we're going to feed this in from over here over to here. And then basically from there, we're going to have to figure out um, all the oil production and all that fun stuff, which will be fun. Uh, so um, I'll do that part off camera. You don't need to watch me literally you know, move that over to the building and stuff like that. But what I would like to do now is um, work on the, we have some of it here somewhere. There we go. So this is the miner. I don't care about the miner, but I want the pump. Probably should make more of these actually. Um, they're, they're kind of, actually, you know what? Time to dry out the nether. What? Wait, wait, what? Oh, there's a quest for the. Oh, I keep hitting these random quests. I found another one earlier today. What, what did I have in my inventory? A bunch of coal. Let's see if I or charcoal. Sorry. So I guess one of them is basically uh, grabbing uh, lava from the Nether. Which hey, sure, why not? We'll, we'll take that. I guess that's just funny. Um, but I, I was thinking that there might be actually a quest here for. There was another one. Let's see if I can find it here. Oh, by the way, this is completed now, the uh, Stone Age. So there's a loot games, which we have disabled on our server. So basically what I did is uh, a, a server admin. I just basically made it so when you join the server, everyone automatically completes this. And I just wrote, we don't have loot games. So we give everyone this quest for free. Done. <laughs> there you go. Um, but uh, anyways, that way people can uh, claim and do that. So bio for the masses one. Oh, that's what this one was. Oh, see, so all you had to do, so all these were optional. The charcoal was not. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, I, I got this quest. I'm not sure. Look at that. Terror wart. We already have the terror. Oh, it might be. Okay. I think we actually did get the terror wart at one point anyways. So. Oh. We're, we're going to have to do some organization again eh, in the future. Uh, what's this one? Oh, okay, this is the quest we're supposed to explain. Oh, benzene. Oh, okay. This, uh, no benzene yet. So this just explains some information. I don't need that right now, but I'll take the free robot arm. Plus it's one more thing done on the list there. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll we'll look into this stuff in the future, obviously. But I'm, I want to work with oil, which that's, to me, the, the fun part here. So welcome to this quest log. This shows the path through oil processing towards the useful... Uh, items and fluids that can be obtained from it. Working with this uh, black liquid involves a lot of steps that range from LV, low voltage, all the way to IV, insane voltage, and outputs that are useful for those tiers and beyond. Oil is useful for both generating power to automate lots of chemicals that are important for progression. As you progress, you will be able to get more of it uh, and get it faster, as well as process it in new ways to improve your setup that were useful be uh, using before um it's not required path for progression in this pack but it is very useful once uh one you should choose to follow the best way to start uh, working with oil is to extract it from the surface oil spouts visible without having to dig down and then they can be interacted by using a pump placed above them alongside a generator that feeds it some power you can use some oil to generate this power for now there you go so that makes sense so we have the basic distillery here. Yeah, so this is going to be the processing of all the oil. So we already have our pump and everything else, right? So obviously we should be fine there. So there's our pump. So I wanted more pipe and I wanted to check here. I had a feeling. Oh, here's another quest I did. Uh, mosaic. Uh, mos monastack. I can't say it right. 
It was just one of the B types, so. They gave us torches. <laughs> um, okay, so this is for the fluid pipes, right? Yeah, there you go. Um, so I wanted to check here to see if there was a coin quest. I thought there was for these. It's not like these are hard to make or anything, but I, th I felt like there was a quest for these. It's not a big deal. I just thought they'd be lazy and look. Yeah. What is this? Better questing? Time to dry. Okay, so maybe there wasn't one. Anyways, let's make more of these because these are always useful anyways. So you can use the wire mill or extruder. Oh, I see. Large stainless. Oh, yeah. So we don't have stainless steel. That would be nice. Huge uh, steel fluid pipe. Okay. We have. Okay, look at this. I didn't check. Is that? Um, darn it. This might not be one we can do yet. MV, you're right. Oh, darn it. Sad when that happens because it's like, oh, yes, maybe we have an easy one here. So I guess we're going to have to do basic pipe ones here. Unless, uh, oh, that's the extruder. And then this one's just for if you get the piece there. Yeah, so. I see. So large. This is large one. Okay, so. Apply that to our list. Okay. I'm actually out of steel. Let me go and make some of that. We'll be back. Okay, so we need to make a battery buffer here. So I got one here. I did make some. I got to charge these up, unfortunately. Oh, you know what? We can just steal the ones in here. We don't have to sit around. Perfect. There you go. Um, So we're going to do the battery. We're going to do the uh, <laughs> lithium battery. We're going to do the EV uh, style electric vehicles uh, but uh no that should be good uh so we should pretty much have everything we need um the only thing i would really need is to oh you know what chunk loader let's bring that with us now i guess i should bring some ender pearls with me as well and then i'll need some building blocks I derped up and forgot to bring actual building materials, but I can get some local materials. Now, we need some oil. The first oil I was thinking was this one right here. Ah. Can't jump today, apparently. The first one I was thinking was this one, because it's just like right here. Yeah, this would be a good one here. So this will be our first one. So I'll bring the piping from over here to there, and then uh, we'll get started. I think I got the right spot here. I'm just going to put some torches in here. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's probably more than enough torches. Don't fall down the hole or you won't have a good day, obviously. So I'm guessing what we should do is go like this and put the pump in here. And then, yeah, open that up. Now we have this covered because obviously rain, GT machines, boom, boom, boom. If you didn't know that, hopefully now you do know that. And it could get pretty damn deadly, pretty damn fast. So uh, you don't want to mess with that too much. Uh, so I'm guessing if I right click here once it's done, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so the, those will be good. And then we're going to put in uh, these guys right here. Now, I didn't bring a hopper. You probably should have a hopper because it might, you know, need a little bit more space. But that should work for now. And then we're going to have a spot up here, I guess, like this. And then, yeah, this is going to come down. And then basically we'll have this guy here. Now, I don't know which way is which, and that did not work the way. Oh, actually, I guess that works. Facing up, facing down. Okay, so input cannot, okay, so that's good. So other end input cannot be found, output not found. So it doesn't matter yet, or is there a way? Oh, pipeline input. Okay. So up here is output, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Pipeline output. Okay, that's perfect. So, yeah, it should be inputted in there. So this is good here. Uh, so the other end cannot be found. Obviously, we have to update that. So let's put those batteries in. Um, so this won't obviously work correctly till that works. Now, I don't know how well the chunk boundaries are here. This is right here. So this is interesting. Um, I guess you just put it within the area. So this chunk of, yeah, I think it'll be fine. 
It's not like these are huge, to be fair. I just want to make sure we load the, the stuff, but yeah. I'd say just leave it in the within the chunk. Hope for the best. I think it'll have enough room, though, so. Did I bring the chunk loader at least? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and I brought ender pearls. Okay, so we have that. And then I don't know how many ender pearls this takes. I think it can only hold like four or something. Oh, apparently it holds more. I didn't realize that, so. I don't need a lot of them here, to be fair. So four, eight, right? So four, eight, 16, um, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so that would be six of them, I guess, right? Would be, uh, yeah, that would make sense. There's three eights, yeah. So that's 24 hour period there. So that's a 48 hour period there. I don't wanna use all of them. I, sh I can, you know, spawn more under eggs or whatever um and put them in the smelter but i don't want to overdo it here right now okay that's good and then obviously we need to get up top here we're not going to get up there for this we're just going to go boo. there you go and we're just going to have you come over here basically and i guess this doesn't matter too much I'm just want to clean it up there you go uh, you don't have a thing here though. <laughs> it's all right. We'll just climb up here as well. Oops. There you go. We were one over. I was trying to get right to the middle, but uh, it's all right. We got pretty damn close. There you go. And it does this like it's a background. Um, it does this, I think, um, calculation. So it's smart enough to to do this. But it does it all through the background system, I think. So that's what makes these really awesome. And then I guess it's up to you. You know, you might want to light this up. I'll do that and then head back. Oh, I should show you the pipe going down, by the way. This is it going down. So this is used to be dangerous. Maybe the one that's going down was dangerous. I thought it was dangerous to the touch, but I might be wrong. Just do it like that. Or, or you could always just do this. There you go. Structurally, I mean, none of this makes sense, but it just makes me happier, I guess, this way. There you, go. you know, I'm going to do it all the way. This, I know it's silly. I keep these here for fun, I guess, to indicate I've been here before. Um, Electrobot, he used to play on the server before. He actually made like a kind of like a vanilla-ish block uh, oil rig. So you can kind of see it and, uh, you know, yeah, it was really cool. So 16 oils in there. So now, you know, obviously this is working really well. So we're going to put more in here and then, yeah, I'm going to head back now. Okay. So I have this done over here. Um, the piping comes up here and it's just, it goes, I thought go on the edge here because this part doesn't matter. Cause this is always a wall edge anyways, for part of this, even if I expand this, uh, so it should be fine. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it comes down here and I guess we'll bring it down here, but I have to decide how I'm going to do the machines and stuff yet too. Right. So now this is our steam. I was actually thinking, and it's probably not actually a bad idea to use steam to power this system as a fail safe, at least early on. Um, so it's always kind of running. Um, now don't worry about that. You know, we have the, uh, I'll put a light here cause it bothers me, but, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. So our thing is almost run down. It's at 144 out of 360. 120 is its lowest, which is fine. I don't mind doing that right now anyways. Um, so, yeah, basically, I guess we should get some steam turbines in here, and we'll process some of the stuff in here, and then we'll just go from there. So let me get those ready, and we'll come back. So I'm just putting in a new valve down here. I just thought, why not? So I'll put one right here. Oh, I guess, what the hell did we just hit there? Oh, that's the wall there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to move this a bit. I was like, what the heck just happened there? So I guess we are hitting the... I'm not actually confused. Which corner are we hitting on this thing, man? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're on this part of it. Okay. So if we go over here. There you go. Ta-da! And then that should be back to regular steam. Perfect. You don't lose it unless you break the middle block, so keep that in mind. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and I made the half size ones, so these aren't as big, uh, but they'll hold more than enough uh, fluid for us for this uh, job anyways for now. I guess in the long run, you can you know, always do something about it. 
Oh, we failed. Just put it in there normally and then do the thing. There you go. And then if you want, you can just pull these all out anyways. There you go. And then, yeah, we can just fill this in here. Okay. And then, yeah, we should be good here. I see they come in this way. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. There you go. And then they're all full, it looks like, or filling, I should say. Perfect. Okay. So there we go. We have our power here for our setup. And this should go really well, actually. So, um, And then I just have to hook all this up. But, uh, yeah, this will be good. We got four amps on, uh, on this setup here. So I don't think I need to go this far, but whatever. And, uh, yeah, so we need to start working on some of the machinery, like the distilleries and things like that. I have to actually maybe write down on a piece of paper or something how, uh, what machines I need and what order. I'm going to do light fuel, but it's been a while and I just want to get it right. So, um, I'll probably explain as best as I can after the fact as well. So we'll come back. Okay. I think we got what we want. So we're going to need electrolyzer. We're going to need a basic distillery. We're going to need a chemical reactor and eventually we're going to need this uh, basic combustion generator. It should get us started anyways. Um, I got a few some other things. I guess some of these will show exploiting exploding fluids for power. That sounds dirty. Oh, there's the chemistry stuff. And there's the crude oil and distillery, I'm guessing. There you go. <laughs> so I think I have an idea what I want. Basically, we're going to take oil. We're going to turn it to sulfuric uh, light fuel. Then we're going to take that sulfuric light fuel in the chemical rack. So that was the distillery, by the way. Um, and then we're going to take the uh, light fuel. We're gonna, Sorry, we're going to take the sulfuric light fuel. And we're going to create light fuel by taking hydrogen in the sulfuric light fuel and creating the light fuel in the chemical reactor. And to make the hydrogen, we're going to just use water and electrolyzer. Now, this is a pretty expensive finger air quote thing going on, which you can't see, uh, as in because it takes um, takes a while to make water into hydrogen gas. You also get some oxygen, which then you can also feed that into um, other things like our Mabopper thing over there, so arc furnace. So I'm hoping this will work. I know it's not going to be perfect, but, uh, oh, didn't even, I was like, what, what's going on? And then I realized how he's going. Um, okay. So we're going to take, yeah. So having these closer to this would make a little bit more sense just for the fact that, you know, you want everything good here. So. Um, this is for the hydrogen part. I guess we'll start with that. So water, water in here to hydrogen. So this is going to be on circuit one. And then basically we need to feed water into this. So I'll get the water brought over here and then uh, we'll continue from there. Apparently I'm a little visually glitched here. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, we got some cells here. So this should work. Now you probably don't want to overdo this either. Um, so this is LV, right? Yeah, this should actually, a uh, what's not working? I wonder power is on? Yeah, it's got power. It's got water as far as I know. It's on number one or am I wrong? No, it's on one. Oh, it might require regular cells. Some of these are a bit iffy on that. So, oh, there you go. Yeah, regular cells. Okay, that's working. So that's electrolyzing. That takes a long time to obviously electrolyze. I got the water coming in here, but um, I mean, needs very little water when you think about it. Uh, so, you know, basically, what is that? 10 millibuckets every second kind of thing. This pipe will do 1200 uh, per second. So um, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so um, we got the electrolyzer here. Um, so that's the one task here. I might do this kind of backwards. I know it's kind of weird, but because uh, we want to mix the hydrogen, right, into this guy. So I have to figure out how I want to do that, to be fair. Uh, so the hydrogen will come out of here. And then we'll want to go into the next machine, obviously. So this is the, uh, sorry, this is the making the hydrogen. So this would be the chemical reactor, I guess. 
Now, do I want it right side by side or do I want it off? I'm thinking just side by side to be fair. And then we can do fluid auto output and then it'll go in here. Now we have to make sure we get this to the right one too. This is going to be a circuit of four. Yeah, I guess we're going to do it kind of backwards. That's fine. Because I, in the end, I realized I want to get it close to this for power reasons, you know, because we're going to be bleeding through this. Okay, so that should be good. And then the light fuel cell. Okay, now that's for this part, right? So it's going to give it hydrogen. You have your light fuel. Okay, and then you're going to have this one, which is the distillery itself, um, which that's pretty damn simple, right? So, yeah, there you go. Let's put it in there. And then we're going to put the distillery in here somewhere. There you go. Hopefully it doesn't like want another. I guess I can always make more of these anyways because we're going to need more of these in the future. I guess I should get myself wire cutters here. I'm not going to be perfect. You know, we never got to use that jetpack, by the way. I just realized that. I know it's a really crappy uh, jetpack, so that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't really care to show you. But I guess I should show you it because it is the first jetpack, right? Okay, so we got that and that. There you go. So on um, the distillery here will be number two. Does it require? Ooh, I got scared there for a second because it was like, yes, yeah, so it's going to be number two and this will be actual oil. So I guess for now, what I'll do is I'll just place this here, right? And then you're going to be, so you will, will you go in? Is that how it works? It says, it tells you pipeline output. So pipeline input, yeah. Well, it's a little scary to be fair, because this could this whole thing might be backwards, unfortunately. So oops. Apparently you can't smack it with a wrench. Um let's just go like this then. And then boom boom boom. Now, it might take a couple, you know, like, it shouldn't take too long, like, a few seconds, I guess, probably, for it to actually, you know, do its homing on. But, yeah, it cannot, uh, cannot be found. You may need to update the other end. So, facing up. So, I might have this down wrong. You might actually have to face this down and then the other one up, maybe? This cannot be found. Here's the worst thing that might be, you know, possible too, right? Is that um, potentially there is a break in the pipe system. So <laughs> hopefully not, but that's a huge, huge possibility, unfortunately. So I guess we get to play a bit of a hunt here. Now, I guess we should get a reason to use this uh, oxygen up. If we're not going to keep it, get rid of it kind of thing. Um, so there's a few ways you can do this. You can use this to store it, obviously, but they're not going to store a lot because you're going to run out of space. Eventually, we'll get like quantum tanks and things like that. Um, but another method would be, I guess, the extractor. I think you can take the extractor. Basic extractor. Yes, yeah, so you can take the extractor and just dump it out, basically. So you're going to have to, though, you're going to have to do this with a conveyor module, I guess. So I'm very out of touch when it comes to this stuff, so I know I'm going to mess up. Here's conveyor module. And then I need a small item pipe. Yeah, and basically, you might not even need an item pipe. I might need it for sending it back, possibly, but we'll see. I don't know if I can do it back and forth, which sounds dirty. Um, let's do it on top, I guess. So then we, what, what was it? We just shift right click? Okay, so uh, you're going to do import... Allow, yeah, so this looks like it might even just pop. Oh, did it already pop it out? Oh, it popped it out in my inventory. Okay, so that worked. I guess that was easier than I thought it would be. By default, it works. Okay, so those go in here. Ah, darn it. My hope to do this is not working out so well. I was hoping I can use it, uh, extract it, but it looks like that might not be a thing you can do with these ones. Yeah, I guess you could do the fluid voiding uh, over time. Yeah, I guess that's how you do it. Okay. Oops. 
So maybe we'll get this guy here. This guy holds very little, to be fair. I should look at a different fluid tank. Fluid tank, see which one I can make. So what is this? Dark steel. I have not even attempted to make dark steel, unfortunately. I don't think it's like... Oh, it might be blast furnace. Okay, never mind. So we can't do dark steel yet, I guess. But we can do this one right here. Huge clay pipe. I haven't even tried making one of those yet. I just don't want to lose this, obviously. Hey, you know what? We'll just use this for now. Screw it. There you go. Interesting. You didn't pop out when I had the thing there. Oh, there you go. Take your time. There you go. And then you can send this back, which I guess you can't like that. So then this is where you use the item pipe, I'm guessing. And then get rid of you. There you go. And then I guess we could do like this. There you go. And I'm guessing that should work. Just the same idea, right? So you're just going to literally... Recycle those now you have to remember they take whatever seconds they take quite a few seconds here up to 20 seconds and that's if we don't have to Change any settings. I mean we didn't with the bottom one there, so I'm not sure if I can play the same game there. I'm hoping I can Now there might be a, a side thing to this for example Maybe it only pops it from the top which actually I didn't even think of that till now That could even make sense why it did the other one just fine. Yes, there might be a a side. I don't know if I have as a side configure on there. They should have them because I know you had them on the other stuff, but import, export. Yeah, it's all in the stuff that you'd think it would be. So I'm guessing this is going to be an us thing here. So we'll try it on the top, I guess. And hope for the best here. So if you don't remember, you got to use the crowbar, the GT crowbar. There you go. And then, yeah, let's put you here. Oops. And then we're just going to lift you up to the top here, hopefully. There you go. Same idea, but we're hoping this time it'll work up here. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, it's already on the... We get on there? Oh, yeah. It should work, but like I said, they might be jerks. This is an item pipe, tin pipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just noticed this one actually tells you. It has the conveyor thing on here. It tells you this one just, just doesn't see it at all. I wonder if I were to do it the same way instead. There you go. There we go. It might be related to that, actually. I didn't think of that till now. Okay. Maybe it's a new system, or maybe I just didn't know. There you go. Okay. I think the thing is the import, export, whatever. So you'd actually, they would probably would have worked the way we had it. We would have had to flip them around. If you think about our bees, that's how we did it. Because then you're talking about the opposite. So it's from the pipe to the machine. So then you flip all the switches to the opposite way. That would have probably made it work. Now I think about it. Meh. Um, I might just go ahead and actually redo this for fun. So we can probably take that off like that. Yeah, there you go. So let's go ahead and let's take this out of the way. Might as well do it right on the machine, right? Because that makes it more sense. So I just popped out right there. So there you go. So that now is all of it, you know, basically that's all we need to worry about, right? Now, obviously this will fill up over time, blah, blah, blah. Then you'll have that issue. But at least this is fully, you know, looping now. And then if you want to get rid of this, there is actually a way to void these. I just don't know if we can void them yet or if that's much later on. But there is a void control thing you can do on that. But we do have fluid pipes, pumps. I can just set it to void automatically. But there is like a void module that you can put on the side of it, I'm pretty sure, um, to void it out right away. So overflow valve. Ah, here you go. 
Yeah, so they're a little expensive. I always, uh, I guess not maybe expensive, but I mean, that's a circuit at least. It's not terrible, but we'll do it another time. Okay, it's working. Awesome. There was just a pipe that was cut. I fixed that. So, um, we should be good here for this part. So this will make this into this, obviously. Um, so this is making it a little sulfuric. So we're going to have you, I guess, go over here. And we'll, we'll basically ask you to fluid output over here. Am I right or wrong there? Maybe wrong. I didn't... We didn't pick the right one. Oh, you know, that's fluid output. Not sure why that ain't working then. Oh, that's right. I know why. That's a neat. This recipe here, I believe, wants it in this one. Yeah. There's another version of it, but then you have to... There's no winning at these lower levels, um, so you can't tell it. You want it into as a solid. It's either one or the other kind of thing. Um, and it also kind of does backwards on this. So for example, for this one, you can do either this version or this version. I chose to do the, the one version, but now it's for this, it's kind of the same idea, right? So I want light fuel. Uh, so you either have this one or this one, but you know, once again, you're, you're stuck with the same issue. So I'm going to have to basically output these into something like this have a cell go to this and whip around basically so let me figure out let me make some more of those uh tanks i guess i think this should get us what we need here didn't i just make a bunch of you? oh no i think i was about to make a bunch of you and then i never actually made you <laughs> like didn't i already do you guys i did that part of it okay there you go i made enough so i can make three because Obviously, I'm bad at counting here with bronze. I like how there's a bronze one just sitting there. It's like, that's the one. Okay, so we, we did have... Okay, so we got, oh, another combustion one here. Look at this. So you can pick whatever. Oh, no, you get them all. Okay. <laughs> we'll just throw these guys for now in here. We'll deal with that another time. Um. So this is how to generate power. Okay. Let's do this this thing here. So we got this done. I'm going to go for the cells because that just makes life easier, I think. Um, and then we have this guy here. And then we have the tanks here. Perfect. So this is the ones I wanted there. Now it wants us to make the next one, but you have, yeah, you have to have EVF, which makes sense because, you know, we figured we need it for the thing. So, um, yeah, so we should be good here. Let's open these, I guess. While my poor inventory is suffering here. I guess we can take these and throw them right here. Okay, so um, this is actually going to go good. I need some pumps, actually. Let's go back and get some pumps. And I'm probably going to need some fluid pipes, too, then. I won't need too many, but I'll need some. So let's take these just in case. Um, and then let's see here. There you go. So we need something that's like, this is 800 liters a second. Well, it's not producing, wrong room. It's not producing that fast or that much anyway, so I don't think that's an issue. Okay, so now this is going pretty decent speed. This one's probably, I don't know if it's keeping up or, because it needs a certain amount. How much, how much do you need anyways when you're doing this? 500 and it gives you, oh, it's not terrible actually. So, okay, so this is full now, which is great. So now this is where I guess we're going to do our output. Which kind of oil? It is called oil. So I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. There was like three or four different oils. So I knew it wasn't heavy oil or whatever. But there was a raw oil and other stuff. So we're going to go like this now. And then we're going to do fluid output. And there you go. So this will output this fluid. And then we can swing around and put it in here. Which is exactly what we want. So... Uh, before we do that, because we don't want this to go all crazy, we're going to go ahead and put this on top, I guess. Sorry, let me figure out how I'm going to do this right now. Eee, um, I lost this. Okay, you're going to put this on top. So this has your output. And then we're going to have it go into the chemical reactor, which then should make us our light fuel at number four, which you're set to. Okay. 
And then you're going to probably want to output that into its own, you know, whatever. And that way, you know, you have that all done. So let's go ahead and uh, since this is an item one, you're going to need to do your item ones again. Now this one, I mean, how fast do you make these things anyways? Sorry, I guess we should go before. So one second, 20 ticks. Okay, so it takes a while actually. So you should be fine with this gauge of piping, I guess. I'm trying to make this pretty decent, but you know, I'm not, I don't sit there and play it in single player and then go in multiplayer and do it. You know, we play a multiplayer server. A lot of people do that. Apparently they have a creative world. I have no creative world in that way. Um, just, just never, never appealed to me. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, each to their own, right? So, okay. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, one stack every blah, 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 blah. There he goes. And there you go. So you get this hydrogen salt, salt, sulfate. Can't say the word. Which that's going to be interesting. And then this is where things get bad for us. Um, if you don't know why I'm saying that and if you don't see it yet, everything is too crunched together. Yeah, so this guy, this is our oil distillery. He's not going to even be able to put anything into here, right? So technically, this is where we've gone wrong is this setup right here, basically. It's too damn close, unfortunately. I think we need to move this over. I know it sucks a lot, in fact. Uh, but I think it's our only choice at this point because we ran out of room. And we're not going to be able to do anything with the piping here because we're going to only have one piping left until you get more advanced stuff later on so we kind of kind of hurt ourselves there that's my own fault but uh we should be able to deal with this can i do that yeah i can oh this is still going um there you go okay and then where's that part one there you go oops there you go okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just take this and we're gonna move this somewhere like so we're gonna take you this is nothing's used over here right we're gonna put you right here and then we'll go back to the same thing so um this is the actual oil distillery so we're gonna do this again so number two here oops and then yeah you're gonna go and have fluid output you're gonna go to this side blah 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 I need to hook these guys up again here. Not to hook you up. Okay. And then we'll put the actual oil back in here before we hook it all up again. There you go. And then a little bit in there. Perfect. And then we're going to take you and put you in there. And then we're going to dump you in there. Perfect. I love this system. Okay. And then we're going to take... I guess nothing got dumped in here. Oh, no, they got dumped in there. Yeah, so we're going to leave those for now because that was that good one, right? Okay, so we're going to go back to what we were doing here. So now we're going to take this. It's up to you how you want to do this. I'm thinking well, I want to put those in here, right? Then you're going to have to extract this crap, but then you're going to also have to extract this out as well. And one of these are going to have to go under anyway, so I'm going to just do this for now for fun. I hope I gave it enough room, but you're probably starting to wonder. I like, I, you know, thinking there. I just don't have enough sides on this to interact with, as far as I know. And you can't share like an item pipe and a food pipe in the same one. So, this is where I was starting to think, oh crap, what am I going to do about it? So, there you go. There you go. So, that should connect that just fine now. Um, might as well do just have a bigger amount of these going and this will just be a good example yeah i already did it for us so there you go now why oh uh, i dirt up there sorry okay we need to not do those ones unfortunately can i shuffle these back empty cell there you go 
One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Yeah, they have to be the right ones. They can't be the, oddly enough, the universal ones, which is fine. I just, it is a bit weird how that works, but it is what it is, so. So you remember every 20 seconds or so. There you go. Okay. It does three at a time, too, which is really fast. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have to evacuate this kind of stuff out of here, obviously. And then we're going to have to do something some else with that. So since that's an item one, let's go ahead. And where do you want to put this, I guess, is the question. So vacate where, basically? Do you want to vacate up here, down there? I'm thinking right here. I'm thinking right here. I will accidentally know it. This is, it doesn't have power anyway, so just making sure. So I'm thinking what we do is we have this vacate over here. Yeah, I think this will work. So do item output to the right side. Okay. So item output to the right side. This will go in here. And then this will be sent back over here. Like so. And then I'm out of item pipes. Let me make some. Okay, so I already made a mistake here, now I realize I'll just fix that up after. So we're gonna, mm, can I use that? Can I do that? Is that a bad idea? We'll just do it for now. I might want to put it from the back, not the front like that, but we're gonna go ahead and crack this up because we already know that we want to use this from here. This will be a problem because it'll pop out, obviously. There you go. Actually, didn't yet, so this might be okay. I'm hoping this works. Didn't it last time? I wonder if there's like a global tick thing on it or if it's something else. You know what I mean? Oh, no, there it goes. Perfect. So it wasn't even enough to, you know, get this to launch itself. So, um, oh, yeah, this is why we can't do it this way. <laughs> We were wondering if there would be any consequences to this, and I just figured out the consequence. Um, we can't fit the oil uh, pipe back there, so that would be the consequence, obviously. Okay. So we're going to have you there. Forget which way this goes, but whatever. We'll figure that out in a minute. I know I did it right before, so... Obviously, this is not right. Um, this is on the right number, I guess. Yeah. Sorry, this way. There we go. Ta da! Looks like it's working, though. And this has one in it, so we're just waiting for it to get two in it. Yeah, now it's going to work on that third one here soon, and then it'll run through. And yeah, no, this is actually working. So it's up to you if you want to keep three in there. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to keep just the three in there. It'll be enough, and then that way, less waste of that, plus you can keep an eye on it, obviously, right? So, okay, so that should work well. So this is getting close, seven, yeah, 800. Can't believe it. We got oil working now. Obviously, there's some issues with this, like the, the I need to avoid some fuel fluids and stuff like that, right? But it looks like it can run continuously as well, basically. Well, not everything needs to run all the time, which is great. Um, and I could always put a lithium battery to help with, uh, you know, some peak times when it just screws up or something. But that just ran through that. So this is in here right now. Obviously, that just shot into there. Perfect. It is perfect. Okay, so the last thing we want to get rid of is this uh, this here, basically. Um, so it's up to you where you want to do it. Um, because we're already doing the automatic output, the item, we're doing item output to the right. Uh, you're going to have to do this a different spot. Um, actually, I guess I could do this. Yeah, I guess I could do this, and then I can do it right on top. And there you go. Done. Now, I do need to wait a minute. I'll let this back up a bit, and then we're going to check out the quest here because I need to grab some of these fluids anyways for quests. 
and then I can, you know, the uh, quest book will detect them. And then uh, that's it. I think we have our light f uh, fuel uh, automated really well. Uh, basically for this, so if I wanted to, and this it actually works out because they're side by side, right? So if I really wanted to, all I have to do is connect these two to the uh, thing out there. So I just put two pumps on there, two individual pipes, have them directly go to this guy here, just bring it over there. And then I can void these fluids anytime I want um, if I don't want to do that fancy one. Um, but uh, either way, yeah, this is awesome. Let me, let me sit it for a while and then we'll come back. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna grab these guys. So we, we wanna do the quest here. So I need this for something. So this is sulfuric, right? Yeah. I think there is a quest for this. Yeah, there you go. And you can just dump it like that instantly. Why didn't I think about that? There you go. So you know, oil cells or LV bag. I'll go LV bag knowing there's nothing good in it. What did I tell you? Um, I think it's hot. Oh, oh, that's copper actually. Cool. Um, those might actually be somewhat useful to be fair, but, um, okay. So we got that. There is light fuel one here, but it's locked up and I don't know why actually. Why is it locked up? H for hydrogen. Where the fudge is the hydrogen right here? Okay. Two hydrogen cells. I think we can afford two hydrogen cells. Fortunately, you're never going to dump them back in there, though. No. Okay. Well, that's it. You're stuck with two hydrogen cells for your life. And now we should be able to go to light fuel. And we need 48 light fuel. Which, that shouldn't be too hard. Um, I guess there's no way. I guess if you were to take these out of here for a second, right? I have an idea. I don't know how well this will work, but... Boom. And then that should be it, right? Yeah. And then put them back. There you go. There you go. So there's one missing, but why is that? Oh, you're in there. And you're full. And sulfuric. Oh, because you're regular light. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Just making sure everything's fine. Okay. Now, I have this as oxygen, so, like, if you really want to get rid of something, you know, the, the easy way here anyways, you go like this, right? So just throw this in here, and then you can go like this and just take this and replace it down here. And, uh, oh, I'm, what? I did not realize this. These actually hold the materials in it. Why didn't I know this? I probably did before. Okay, so there's another secret to this, because I saw it as a recipe, and I didn't know why this existed, but... Da, da, da. There you go. <laughs> That's how you get rid of them. Uh, we're one of the ways. I'm sure there's many things, like I said, there's a void thing and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's doing good. This one's going to hold quite a bit, so I don't have to worry about the hydrogen sulfate. Though I think there's a quest for it. Maybe I'll like to do it, right? But uh, program circuit obsidian tank. Ugh. I don't see myself ever. I don't think you can even do the back and forth on those, but like maybe it's used for something. You know what I mean? Recipe wise. Okay. Maybe it's not going to be good. Okay. Let's just go with LV bag after seeing that crap. Oh. Uh, SOBs. Okay. So we got that. Um, what else did I want to check? Oh yeah. I wanted to check out this oil thing here. So there was working for oil here. So we have this one done. Now there was another one down here. So light fuel, 10 of 10, you need basic chemical. So I remade the machines actually. This will probably help us skip ahead a bit here. There you go. So we'll grab you. And then there was the sulfuric acid cell. Actually, I guess we did it a different way because there was no sulfuric. Yeah, I guess we did it in a weirder way, right? Because we didn't make a waste from it. Or is that you make it into that, I guess, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sulfuric acid. Huh. Oh, okay. In another chemical reactor mixed with water. 
So chemical reactor mixed with water. Oh, here you go. Something like this, I guess. Hydrogen. No, I'm not seeing the one I got. Yeah, hydrogen sulfate. Let's just look at it this way then. Ah, here you go. Dilute. Oh, I see. You have to go through a bunch of stuff here, I'm guessing. And then I'm guessing you go and do that, something with that again. Yeah, that's the downside. There's always the. Oh, yeah, sulfuric acid. Okay, so you have to do a bunch of stuff for that. So eventually you can do this, which that'll be useful, I'm sure. There was one for combustions here, so I did that one as well. And I think that will catch us up. There's one in here as well, I guess. Oh, I guess because we grabbed that. Funny enough. And that's it. So I think that's a good episode. We were able to automate uh, light fuel, obviously. Uh, we got lots of light fuel. We could uh, we could switch this to light fuel if we wanted to. I think I'll leave it as we'll leave it alone for now. But um, yeah, no, that was a good episode. I think so. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.